Hey, what's up guys? Today's video, we have daily challenges, Madame Nazar's location, also collector daily challenges. So we have season game, American Bison. You also have some free roam missions, some herb picking contests, which can be a pain sometimes. Uh, you have to jump from a horse to a moving train. We have some showdowns, and then we also have players boosted by tonics. As far as the collectors, we have antique bottles, jewelry, tarot cards, and then you have some stuff like goods sold to a distant buyer, and then you also have some bounty targets brought in, and uh, you know, eagle eye and all that stuff for bounty, depending on how high of a level you are with those rolls. So first thing, we have Madame Nazar. She is back at this same location here, just a little south of Window Rock. Game meat can be found pretty easily from rabbits, ducks, pheasants. You can find those all over the map. Hopefully by now you guys have stored enough in your satchel so you don't actually have to go hunting these. That would be my suggestion. So today if you go out and find some rabbits and stuff, stock up on them so you don't have to keep looking for them. So bison, normally they run around with a group of like 10 of them between the Heartland oil field or the Heartland overflow area and this area here in Blackwater. I found one by himself hopefully you guys have some better luck but in this general area you can find some bison as well in great plains and uh hopefully you have more luck than i did because it's kind of ridiculous on these challenge days is one friggin bison running around so a few coin collectors as far as my game's concerned today is group three for coins the other day i had group one then it moved to group two now we're on group three sometimes it does rotate sporadically for you but group three for me today so great tip for you guys who are looking for your bottles, your jewelry, and your tarot cards. Just looting NPCs, whether it's hideouts, free roam missions, your trader sell missions. You can find these items just from this group of guys right here. I ended up finding jewelry and also a tarot card. But I'm going to bring up some locations on the map here. If you want to, you can just go to Madame Mazar, buy a map, get your three locations done, and then that's it. But here are some three locations, or here are three locations that I ended up getting. When I opened the map today, I'm also going to show some other locations for jewelry. And unfortunately, these are the same ones we've used in the past day because we had these challenges not too long ago. So here are some locations where you can find some jewelry. Unfortunately, you most likely are going to need a metal detector. So if you're somebody who doesn't have a metal detector, I would advise you to go around and loot a lot of NPCs, try to find a lot of hideouts, ambushes, do some free roam missions, kill everybody, loot them all, because you can find jewelry that way, which will avoid the need for a metal detector if you're not high enough level or if you just can't afford it. Although I do recommend you getting a metal detector, watch the 45 different buried coin location video, make yourself you know, over $500 and about 4,000 XP per day. So these locations right here, are some liquor bottle locations a lot of them are going to be inside of houses these we had recently as well but this location up there near the cougar spawn at the camp there is one inside braithwaite manor at the table and there's also a house in the bayou unfortunately these do shift around every day so you might go to these locations and they may not be there so either open a map loot some people or try visiting these locations so as far as tarot cards you can find these pretty commonly um I'm going to go ahead and open up the map. Another good suggestion though, if you're a high enough level and you've unlocked those salvage, salvage missions, I definitely recommend you going ahead and doing those. You can find a lot of these items if you do that salvage free roam mission, plus we already need to do free roam missions anyway, so go ahead and bang that out. You can get a lot of collectibles and valuables during that. So these next locations here are going to be some tarot card locations. There is one at Emerald Station. There is a couple in the bayou, but here are some other locations that I'm pointing out as well on the eastern part of the map. And then we're going to go ahead and move over to the Armadillo area. In the next clip, there is at least another four locations that I've pinpointed, but there are plenty of tarot cards all across the map. Again, looting. If you're in a jam and you know you press for time, either visit these locations or you know just go ahead and buy a map from Madame Nazar. And you can go ahead and, and bang that out. But Flatneck's a great place in the tower, inside the poker hall, and outside on a barrel. There's also another one. And here are some locations. You have one that's uh, just a little northwest of Don Julio. There's one behind the cemetery near the T in New Austin at the burial site in Armadillo. And another one here. Appreciate you guys watching.